Okay, the last part of chapter three concerns itself with histograms. And in this video, I'm gonna do a bit of a GCSE recap. Histograms are basically like more sophisticated bar charts. So we're gonna have a look at this one that we've got here. Um, it says here that Pablo is hosting a party. He counts how many people are between 15 and 20, and there's 15 people here, and how many people are between 20 and 50, like this. Why is the below graph somewhat unhelpful and how could we fix it? So what we've done here is we've put the, gra the gap between 15 and 20. We've said that there were 15 people. And we've put the gap between 20 and 50 and we've said it's 15 people. So this is not a good graph because the 15 people in the second group that we've got here, they're more spread out in age. But this graph seems to suggest that people's ages are spread out uniformly between 15 and 50 because it's the same kind of height all the way across. It looks like the distribution of ages is just um, equal, but it's clearly not. There's clearly a much higher density of people in this 15 to 20 group. Really, it would make sense if the size of the bar or the area of the bar is going to represent something to do with the frequency. So this is not a very good graph, and we're gonna try and turn it into a histogram in this next, next um, slide. So the way that we might do this is what we would do is we would presume that within each age group, the ages are evenly spread. So that would mean that in this first 15 to 20 group, if we've got an age bracket of five and there are 15 people, we would imagine that there would be three people of each age in the 15 to 20 group. And then for the 20 to 50 group, well, that's 30 years that we've got here and 15, um, 15 people. So per year, we would do 15 divided by 30 we would imagine there to be 0.5 people of each age in the 20 to 50 group. And so instead of plotting the frequencies along the side, we plot this thing called the frequency density. And you'll see here that the average of three people in each age group can be represented as like a bar for each of those ages going up to three to say there are three people in each of those um, age ranges. And again, you can see these ones go up to 0.5 on the side to represent that there is less of a density of people in that section. So it's not really like a bar chart where you would say the frequencies on the side, but we call it a frequency density. And what you'll learn at A-level is sometimes we don't put anything um, for this side part. We don't even put some of these numbers and you'll see why in a couple of videos time. So this diagram that we've got here, which obviously wouldn't normally have these additional lines drawn in the middle, is known as a histogram. And it allows us to display the concentration or the density of people per unit value. And by, by unit value here, I'm talking about the, the age of someone at this party. So the frequency per age is known as the frequency density. In general, when you're given the frequency in the class width, we can calculate it using the fact that the frequency density is the frequency divided by the class width. And I guess the way that I remember this is I just kind of think of like a, a logical way. In fact, I always think back to my geography GCSE and I think about population density. It kind of just makes sense where you would say the population divided by the area that they live in kind of makes me think of the same sort of idea. But I'm going to put brackets in that because obviously that's not directly related to this. So population is a bit like frequency and area. The size of where the people are living is like the class width of, of where they're going to be um, grouped. So just to finish off the GCSE kind of version of this bit, we're going to do a couple of other bits. So first of all, what's the difference between bar charts and histograms? Well, we won't be doing anything to do with bar charts in A-level. That is um, a more sort of foundation GCSE. So bar charts are usually for discrete data. So here you'll see like shoe size. We've got six, seven, eight, nine. And the frequency is given by the height of the bars. Pretty straightforward. For histograms, though, it is always for continuous data. Usually the data is divided into intervals, which should be, but they don't have to be even. So you'll see here this, this interval is not the same size as this one here. In the GCSE definition, the frequency is given by the area of the bars, but we're going to be changing this. We're actually going to be saying that the frequency and the area of the bars are just proportional. They're directly proportional. And last of all, there would be no gaps between the bars like there are here. This is probably the most important point that for histograms, it is for continuous data. So if they ever say, why are you using a histogram or justify the use of a histogram for this data, you should just say that the data is continuous. OK, that's a little important one. 
So we're going to quickly use the GCSE formula, but just as a bit of a recap, where you've got your, I don't know if you've ever used these triangles, but the frequency density is the frequency divided by the width, and the frequency is the frequency density multiplied by the width, if you know how to use those triangles. So I'm just going to quickly fill in this table that we've got here. I'm going to add in some of the class widths. Clearly the class width here is 10, 5, 20, and 10. So if I wanted to find the frequency density of this one, it's the frequency divided by the class width. So 40 divided by 10, which is just going to be 4. And here I can do the frequency, which is 6 divided by the width. So 6 divided by 5. 6 divided by 5 is 1.2. And here I've got the frequency density is 2.6 and the width is 20. So I've got the frequency density and the width. To find the frequency, which is like the area, we'll just multiply those together. So we would do 20 multiplied by 2.6, which is 52. And then last of all, I've just got the class width, which is 10 multiplied by the frequency density, which is one. So I've got the, the frequency there is 10. This one's pretty straightforward. The, fre the frequency in these GCSE ones is just the size of the bar, the area of the bar. So for this first one, which is, this is going to be a 15 along the bottom. So you've got five along here and three along the top, five times three, 15. This one, the bottom of the bar, the width is 15 and it goes up to 15 times 2 is 30. So this blue bar is double the area of this red bar um, and that's why it's got double the frequency. This one, the class width is 10 and it goes up 4. 10 times 4 is 40. And last of all, you can see at the bottom the class width is 5 and it's going all the way up 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So there's just a bit of a GCSE recap with histograms. We're going to be trying to break down the next bit with some separate skills about how to do them for A-level.